Hey everybody, Sean here from Comic Kitchen, bringing you yet another board game review. This one we are going over Stratejo. Stratejo, have you guys ever played this? There are so many different variations of this. There's Star Wars, there's Lord of the Rings, everything you could possibly think of. And in the description below, there'll be links to all that. Get whatever version you like. This is a really fun game and you'll see all about it in this review. Something that's really cool about this is the instructions. When I first opened this up, there was only, I saw these ones, this green one, and I'm like, oh, okay. And as they're reading, I'm like, I can't speak Spanish. And then I looked under the board and there was the English version. I was like, sweet. So there's two versions of it and I'm not really sure why one's green and one's black, but eh. whatever, let's read this little story because this little story, they spent a lot of time on this story. On a lonely battlefield, you meet your opponent for a skirmish that will decide the fate of your army. You must plan to battle, advance your men, attack and capture the enemy flag. Your marshal is the strongest man, but vulnerable if not protected from the spy. Your scouts are weak, but mobile and effective in discovering your enemy's manpower. You will need the skills of the miners to disarm enemy bombs, so don't lose them all early in battle. Plant your bombs skillfully. They will protect the most precious piece on the game board, your flag. In the Stratego game, you will use skillful planning, clever deception, and good memory work to defeat your opponent every time you play. The battle is different. And now, tournament rules can give you more variety than ever. So back in the day, they didn't have the whole tournament aspect of it. And, you know... It's a pretty long instructions, but there's a lot of pictures, so you can really kind of jump right into it. It's funny they use like part, like a whole first part of it, a nothing but how to put the stickers on the little pieces. And the little pieces, if you've never played, are like this. There's red ones and there's blue ones. I think there might be different color ones for different sets, but for this set, that's what it is. This is just the, the classic set, I guess you would say. So, you know, you set up the board, you can place your pawns and all your pieces here anywhere you want to put them on the board. Not anywhere you want to put them, but in the, the spots you guys will see in the setup process of it. And there's certain parts that you can't pass, and we'll talk about that later. And there's different little people that you have. You have your spies, scouts, miners, sergeants, lieutenants, captains, majors, colonels, generals, and marshals. The spy can take out the marshal. Uh, the marshal can also take out the spy if he's the one engaging the spy, and you guys will see that later on. But it's a pretty cool game. You can only move your uh, pieces one space at a time, either forward or to the side or back, unless you're the uh, scout, and you can actually move the scout all the way down. But if you do that, then they know it's a scout, and they know, hey, that, that's a scout. That's where your kind of memory plays in. So... I'm just going to say on this one because there's really, I mean, the rules are really simple. You know, you have to have a higher number than the other one. So a miner can take out a scout. Um, but scouts are really good for pinpointing, like, what is there. So, like, if you put your scout over there to attack one, then say that's the marshal. Then you know to take your spy over there, so on and so forth. You can also find bombs. The bombs um, are a pretty interesting aspect of the whole thing. The only one that... Um, can, that I can even attack the bombs or the uh, miners and the miners have to you know go up to it and they can disable the bomb again the spy if it's attacking the uh, marshal it can take the marshal out and that's about it there's some strategy involved I mean there's a lot of strategy involved in it um, you don't necessarily have to attack when you put a person in front of someone else though um, it actually says that and the first player to win is the capture of the flag or if there's no movable pieces. So if everything's dead and all you have is bombs and a flag left, then bam. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the gameplay and you guys can see how this awesome game is played. Your scouts, they can move all the way across the board. They, they can also attack the first one. That's a bomb. Oh dear. He's blown up. The spy can actually take out the commander by attacking the commander first. Yeah. So the spy just attacked the commander, 
commander's gone. Yes. Put it back there. On the other side, if the commander attacks the spy, then the spy piece is gone. On a normal attack, say red were to attack a number, you base it off the number value on the character. Seven. Blue has an eight. Red has a seven. Blue wins. Red's gone, and that piece stays there until you move it. So a miner, a three, can actually disarm a bomb by attacking it. Three, disarms the bomb, the miner stays there. But now you know that there's a three there, and anything else that's around there can attack it and destroy it. The bombs in this game cannot move. Like, if you place it, like, there's a grid. You cannot move your bomb off the square that you already had it on. I like the artwork they did on here. It's really cool. There's lakes. You cannot move through those. You can only move beside them. This is a really easy but strategic game. There's a lot of strategy involved, actually. It's easy to put the game away. There's, like, little, like, if it's a number six... You know that you have all the number sixes, or you know how you have all the pieces because, like, there's a number six on the side. I'm not sure what it's called, but you put it in the number six slot. So, what did I think about the game? The game is cool. It has some strategic aspects of it. it. It definitely has some competitive nature to it, and it's just fun. It's easy to put away. It's, you know, make sure you have all your pieces all the time. And that's really about it. I mean, if you guys don't have a copy of this, definitely go down the description. I have a list of them down there, and you can actually click on it, buy the one you want. It's not an expensive game, but it's a game that you guys are going to have for a long period of time. You guys are going to have fun playing. I mean, there's really nothing that's dry about this game. It's very easy to set up, very straightforward. Anybody can play the game, and it's just awesome. So, anyway, comment below if you ever played this game, you like the game, you don't like the game, or whatnot. Like, subscribe, and share. If you know anybody that plays board games, I mean, they're going to like this game. This is a really cool game. This is actually one of the best games that I have. It's very simple to play. There's some games that are really hard to play. This one's very simple, and it's, it's elegant. It looks nice. Everything. So anyway, this is Sean from Comic Kitchen. Until next time. Peace.